guess what, y'all people? When you got a girlfriend, you know, I know a lot of you guys got girlfriends. Me, I got a girlfriend. <laughs> My ex. She says, you get your motherfucking ass down here right now. Your kids got chores to do? You can tell your kids to do them. So look what I'm doing. I'm putting my dumb ass boots on. Getting put my jacket on. I'm going to do what my girl tells me to do. Because guys, subscribe to the channel. And tips up. If you don't listen to the girl, you're not going to win her in the end. Peace out. Subscribe to the channel, man. Oh, my boy, Mr. Brinks truck there. It's Thursday, there's that son of a bitch down there that cracked my old lady in the fucking head with a beer bottle. Hope you know who you are, fuck. Fucking DCCC, fucking AJ, whatever the fuck, Michi. I don't know what the fuck you call yourself these days, fucking, fucking bald dipper. Yeah, that's right, man. The guy that busted my white face open, he dipped his balls in the front of my in the front of my mouth while he was passed out. I'm serious about that shit, man. Why I don't have to make shit up, man? <laughs> I just told you, DC drops balls in guys' mouths when he's drunk, man. So what else can he do, man? He busted my white face up. Better bang, but I bang. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, I just finished working on my car. Got to put a new alternator in it. 2001 Ford Focus. And, uh, I was just fucking talking about fucking, uh, how all these cars, how my car got towed the other day. Fuck, see, there goes that fucking cocksucker in the fucking background backing up down now. Down over there, man. Fucking staring at me and shit, man. Fucking goof. Anyways... That's my opinion on that, on that fucking matter, you know. But uh, somebody asked me the other day, I made a fucking comment, said, you know, I should uh, talk about some political shit. Everything I'm going through right now is political. It's so political, fucking, 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 I should be on 22 minutes, shit, man. Picking on me, picking on my family. But guess what, y'all people? Subscribe to my channel. I don't got to worry about myself. Because I'm not the one being fucking watched no more, man. I'm keeping an eye up on everybody up in this town. I'll keep an eye up on myself because this is my channel. So y'all knows what's going on up here in Springfield. That's a bird, Manitoba. Fuck, subscribe below. Hit that smash button like Winter said. Hit that smash button. Become part of the fucking reduction family. Peace out. Yeah, just getting back to some politics there. Uh, you know, I did a little bit of uh, YouTube and scrolling up on channels. Frickin' Donald Trump and the U.S. Congress are more worried about ISIS terrorists crossing the Canadian border into the U.S. on Border Patrol then they're worried about ISIS and Al-Shahid terrorist organizations coming into the U.S. from Mexico. Trump came out and said he's more worried about immigrants and ISIS members crossing the border from Canada into the U.S. You know what? I'm kind of on his side a bit on this one because just last week I was watching the show with our liberal prime minister Justin Trudeau saying shit like uh, a lady in the audience asked a question on, on, on this particular video uh, Mr. Mr. Trudeau I don't want to be charged with any slander or nothing, but I know you were talking to that lady. I seen that. I seen that. I seen that show in the news, man. Okay. So this lady asks, "You're letting an ISIS member that could have possibly killed people 
during the Afghanistan war against Lebanon and Syria. And he said, he thought about it, you know, I picked his little face there, that punk, you know. Yeah, I think he's a punk. I, 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 think, he, I, I think he's not on lie to us all people, you know, trying to pull on that marijuana vote. You know, and then on the immigrant vote, we'll we'll let a bunch of terrorists come into our country, and and I'll appoint uh, I'll appoint a I'll, I'll appoint a Muslim as head of, head of security and defense for Canada. Don't quote me on that one, but I'm pretty sure the Minister of Defense is a Muslim, a sheikh. Uh, probably part of the deal they made, that why they're bringing the terrorists into Canada. So, that's my opinion two minutes that's my opinion on politics well two three minutes whatever it takes you know what I'm saying but uh, back to Trudeau this is what he he said I answered that lady he says you know what Canada was made on immigrants that committed crimes in the 1800s and the early 1900s in the first world war and the second world war and in the Vietnam war we have veterans from the Vietnam War that, that, that sought asylum. We got veterans from the First World War that uh, 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 got asylum. We got, we, 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 we got war people from the Second World War that, 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 that got asylum. So he tries to use that up as an excuse to let these ISIS terrorists come into our country. But you know what? We were stupid back then. Back then, we would have sent them back to their own ass country and tell them to fix it themselves. I'm sorry, I take this, I'm really serious about this matter. You know, I don't want to hurt your feelings if you're a Muslim. Hey, Allah, Shalom Aleikum. But, uh, you know, if you are a former ISIS member or Al Qaeda or Shasid, you should not be coming into my country, putting your kids in school with my school. You should be staying back up there and the government should be more worried about the young families, the children. Save the children. Don't be coming saving up some terrorists, Trudeau. Fuck Trump, you're the best.